What's going on everybody, it's James again and I'm here with a quick bonus video. So, I have an Xbox that has a mod chip in it, right? So there's that Xbox which is soft modded, and then there's this guy which is hard modded with that thing right there. So we have the Executor mod chip in here. Uh, I'm not going to really go into the crazy details on that because these mod chips are pretty old, so let's just call it a mod chip. We have a bunch of stacked Xbox games everywhere right now. So I'm just going to show you what it looks like. So you have the mod chip, it's soldered down here, uh, which is soldered into the board. So we could try turning it on with the mod chip off. See, you get a, a little red uh, LED indicator there telling you that the mod chip is off. And when you have the mod chip off, it just boots into a normal, normal Xbox mode. You know, nothing crazy. So now let's shut the thing off, turn the mod chip on, and set the memory banks to all off. So this brings you into flashing mode, which we can use to actually flash the BIOS that's soldered into here. So it's like insert CD, so that we can, you know, flash, because we're using a Cromwell BIOS here. We're using a Cromwell Dev BIOS. So let's now boot into soft, uh, not soft mod, into Evox. Oh wait, I'm sorry, I messed that up. That's not Evox. I forget which what the uh, the actual setting is. Alright, it's not that. Nope, that's not it either. <laughs> I forget what the bank settings are to make a boot into Evox. Another cool thing though is that there's also blue LEDs in here. So the uh, controller ports actually light up blue. Let me find the uh, the Evox settings. I think it's all down except for four. Let's see if this is right. All right. Anyway, I forget how to do it, whatever the Evox setting is. But yeah, you can change the bank settings, which is these four little switches right here. And depending on what you have them set as, you can boot into Evox or normal Microsoft Dash and, you know, bypass restrictions and whatnot and boot burned disks. Honestly, I prefer a soft modded machine, but that's just me. Because, although it's cool because mod chips allow you to use, like, you know, hard drives that aren't locked and things like that. Soft modding has come so far and it's so easy to do that it's just not worth installing a chip anymore in my opinion. Unless you want to be like a real enthusiast about it. You know, like changing stuff, putting LEDs in there and things like that. But uh, yeah, so what do you guys think? Do you like mod chips or do you like soft modding for the original Xbox better? Leave some comments in the description and I'll talk to you soon. And as always, have a nice day.